How's it going everybody? It's Ocean back with another Destiny 2 video and if you guys just came from watching my solo phase 1 of the duality dungeon, you guys can go ahead and skip this part. I'm just going to do a real quick intro of what the build is for this next phase. So you guys can squip, uh, skip to the good part, get to the action. For those of you that want to know what this build is all about before getting into the action, go ahead and watch this part. If not, you guys can skip ahead too. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the build real quick and then to the action. So we are on the Hunter running the Blade Barrage class. And the whole deal with this build is I'm going to go invisible. Every time I get a melee kill, it's going to heal me and it's going to give me invisibility each uh, each melee kill. So what are we using on this class? We have knock them down. Uh, your solar supers are enhanced and then while radiant final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refund your melee energy on your mark uh, we get two extra fragment slots and precision final blows grant you and your nearby alleys weapon handling activating your class ability immediately grants maximum stack on your mark so we're using this for the maximum stacks of on your mark and we're using it for the two extra fragment slots for the uh, fragments we are going to be using ember of beams Solar projectiles have stronger, tar stronger target acquisition, plus 10 intellect. Singeing, your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Radiant and restoration effects applied to you have an increased duration. That's for uh, Ember of Solace. We got Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks against combatants make you and your nearby allies radiant. And then we have Ember of Char, your solar ignition spreads scorch to affected targets, plus 10 Discipline. Uh, with that, we're using Gambler's Dodge. Uh, re, uh, dodging near an enemy fully recharges your melee ability. That's going to be huge for this build. I use Triple Jump. Use whatever you would like. I like the knife trick thrown out the fan of knives, so you have uh, more chances to hit and kill the enemy. If you miss like the single one, yeah, you're going to miss that more often than missing the fan of uh, three. And then I like to use the healing grenade since we are doing a solo phase, uh, solo run. Having that just extra health and uh, survivability is going to be good. So, what this build is going to be beautiful for is every time I get a melee kill, I get my melee back, I go invisible, and I get some health back. And if I were to miss that melee knife, uh, I can use a dodge. That's going to grant me classy restoration. As you can see, I have uh, on your mark times three and restoration times two because I have classy restoration on my mantle. So if I dodge near an enemy, I get my knives back. Also, once I use my dodge, if I hit somebody with my melee, I'm going to get my my dodge back quickly. I mean, you guys can already see that my dodge comes back because I have it at 100%. Uh, I get my dodge back pretty quickly. And then hitting someone with my knives actually increases that. So every time I dodge, I try to hit someone with my knife right after. It's going to pretty much cause my dodge to be fully back in about 11 to 15 seconds. So you guys will see that coming in handy when I'm fighting the boss. All right, guys. Hopefully you uh, enjoy the video. That's pretty much the build. And trust me, it is a lot of fun. I love going in Viz and just running around the enemies. It makes me feel... Pretty invincible, especially getting all the standards and stuff like that, and then fighting the boss. The restoration is is just huge, especially hitting them with the knives, and then the healing grenade in case I get in a sticky situation. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. I do not talk much in the video just because I am focusing since this is my first time through, but enjoy it nonetheless. Thank you all for watching. Leave some comments if you guys have suggestions on uh, just a. Uh, builds and runs and or weapons because obviously my weapon loadout is kind of bizarre but trust me it works a little bit so i uh stick with it anyway i did beat it with it so uh, good enough for now all right guys take care thanks for watching have a good one
How the fuck did that work?
That was taking a lot longer than I expected it to, but we did it! We did nice! That's beautiful to get right now. Let's see what, what we get on it. Let's see what we get on it. Demolitionist and rapid hit. Rapid hit. Rapid precision hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, kind of. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy, activating your grenade ability reloads this weapon from your reserves. Okay, that could also be kind of good. While this weapon is equipped, taking damage accelerates its next reload. Let's see here. That increases range and stability. Range and stability. We don't really need that. We have handling on it. Okay. Well, we got it. I'm happy we got it. I wanted it. And, uh... There we go, phase two, solo completion, nice. Where are you?